Hello everybody, how's everything doing? And uh, this is Nanook. This is um Fallout, I think this is part three, right? Yeah. I'm losing track because I'm making so many videos right now. This is like my third video of t I made today and um I'm uploading a bunch of them as fast as I can, but it's taking a while because it's you know, my computer is not the greatest, which means it renders slow, my internet's not the greatest, which means it uploads slow. So therefore, it's gonna you're gonna have to. By the time you're probably seeing this, it's probably like a few days after the day I wanted this to be uploaded, anyways. But I'm still gonna try it anyway. So, anyways, when we left off, I forgot. I have to look around. All I know is this um shit. Oh yeah, I think I did um I yeah I was supposed to get Brock Flower and Xanderu. What the fuck? This motherfucker sold me a gun that has no ammo. Either that or I was too stupid to buy ammo for this damn thing. You hear this shit? It's clicking. Click, click, click. Because the motherfucker forgot to buy me ammo. Even though it's really my fault, but I ain't going to tell him. I'm still going to blame him, even though I'm pretty sure it's my fault I'm supposed to go back and buy ammo. Click, click, click. I don't know why that amuses me so much. Dude, Paris Gear allows you to optimize your something. Yo, chat! I got a little present for ya. Click. What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. You see this gun? You looking empty. to buy some supplies? Yeah, I'm looking for buy some fucking supplies. Almost some damn, damn ammo. You know what? Fuck it. No, oh, actually, no. I want another nine mm pistol back. I like that gun. And um, let's see. You got what the fuck? You got a? What is this for? You don't even have a revolver. What's the point of that? I don't understand your logic, chat. Let's see, flower, doctor's bag, train and sell milk bottle, pre-war book, pre-war money. What's this shit? Scrap metal, small burn books, farm rifle extended mags. I'll take that though. How much is that? 110. That might have to come. Oh, I got it. I have to put. Damn, I have to sell him something too. Let's see here. Silence 20. Yeah, some of this fucking pistol. I don't even want it now. It kind of just ruined the entire mood. I want it for the pistol. I can give him that shit. That's more than they'll pay for it. Right. So there, I got some extended masks with my varmint rifle. So it wasn't an all complete loss. There we go. I don't even know how much ammo costs. I know, like, it's probably like a bottle cap per fucking round. That'd be fucking crazy, though. But I wouldn't doubt it for the way this economy is right now. I really don't doubt it. I'm surprised this economy there is I'm surprised the economy even exists right now, so after the big bomb that went off. Anyways, let's see we got Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, fuck you. Take it e You take it too, chat. Stay nice. I like it here. This place actually feels like home to me for some reason. Am I the only one that has played well for people who has played this game or is going to play it, I want you to I want you to look around in Good Springs and see if it feels nice to you. I mean, to me, it feels like my home here. I feel like I'm welcome, and I don't know if I can even do bad things to the people. I don't know why, because really, I don't really give a damn about most of these people. Usually, is how it is. Because me, I'm actually a nice person, but I just love to make, to just act antagonize NPCs. If it's an NPC, I antagonize it just for no reason, just being me. Okay, so now done chit chatting about Good Springs and NPCs. I'm gonna come up here, and I think I'm supposed to get rock flower or some shit and bring it back to sunny smiles that's actually what I'm supposed to be doing now that was the lag is real right now what the isn't that battle music what the hell is the battle music for there's nothing here wait what the hell is that noise oh shit what the fuck little scorpion get the hell out of here Bark scorpion, huh? That is a huge fucking scorpion, man. Would you look at this shit? That shit is freaking huge. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am I'm so glad it went down in one shot, cause that is wow, radiation did all that? That is fucking creepy. Okay, moving on. What is that? A boat fly? More radiation animals? Would you look what it did to the fly? Oh my god, that is a huge freaking fly. I'm gonna have to use my skills. Did I hit it? I'm not sure. Critical. Yeah, I hit it. Oh! That looked nasty. I gained experience from that too. 
Pretty nice. Hold still, motherfucker. Gently now. Hold the fuck still! Yeah, this bots thing I'm not liking so far. It's very unreliable. I'm better off just shooting it myself. Shit. And that's not going well either, so. Did I get it? No. Let me get a little closer. Hope these things don't attack. Did I hit it? I have no clue if I fucking hit it or not. Yeah, I hit it. I'm not sure if it was shot before or the VAT system. I don't know. Or is it pronounced VATS? Is it VATS? Is it like taco and taco? I don't even fucking know. What the hell? What's all that noise for? Oh. I discovered a new land. Oh! Yep. I don't reckon that was a hit shot. Alright, I'll need that fucker to stay low. Just a little bit closer. Wait, are these things even a threat? Apparently not, because it sees me. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I got another one over here. Why am I wasting my time shooting these things? I don't know, because it's amusing, that's why. Let's see, I sort of saw another one. No, that seems to be it. Anyways, where the fuck is this flower? I'm looking for. Is that the Forbidding City? It's all bright and shit. Blow five meat. Uh, I don't know why I took that. Some idiot will eat it. I can sell it to some idiot. What? This was not here before. Was it? I don't know. Alright, I got the Brock Flower and Xander Root. Time to go back to Sunny Smiles. Got ourselves a little walking to do. Long trail means it deserves a nice long conversation. I don't even know what to talk about though, honestly. I don't really shit too much to talk about at the moment. I mean, my mind just gone blank. I probably had like a thousand things right now when I was thinking that. Now, if I try to think it out right now, I don't. I can't think of it. It's like shit. I done forgot what I was gonna say. Let me think on that for a while as I walk through the very vast desert of the Mojave wasteland. It's hot. Even at night, it's fucking hot here, man. Shit. Uh, which way is her again? Okay. I got lost for a second. Apparently, this is the right way. Alright, let's see here. I believe, yeah, I remember these rocks. These lock rocks and shit starting to look familiar. Yeah, we've been up here when we were hunting geckos and shits and wrestling with them. Yep, this was the spot right here. Yep, the gecko's meat is still there. Wow. I don't think these things respawn or disappear in this game, does it? That's pretty crazy that them things are still fucking there. Mm, it's getting dark. I just now realize how dark it's really getting. It's crazy. A lot of realism into this when it comes to that shit. Um, Geronimo! Oh, I guess you don't take that much fall damage. That's pretty cool. I guess they're doing some ninja shit off somebody's rocks and shit. Doing some parkour and shit off people's houses. Alright, I got the shit, Sonny. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. Just All right, fine. Alright, now. We're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. What? Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Healing powder? To like some mumbo jumbo magic shit. No, I don't want to pick Paka Sunny Smiles. Okay, um, healing powder. I pressed it. What the fuck? Oh, press accept. There we go. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know how. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. 
workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. All right, dude. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Trudy? Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right, I'll see what I can do. No promises. I don't like that name, Trudy. It's so cliche. Well, that's new. Okay, well, Sonny, I just wanted to say that ass, though. I mean, um, I just wanted to, you know, say thanks. Not, nothing to do with your ass. <laughs> oh, God. I fuck up. This is why I don't talk to women. Nah, I'm kidding. Honestly, I'm not like that when it comes to girls. It's just fun to pretend because it's a game. You know, you can be whatever the fuck you want. You can do whatever the hell you want. But seriously, that ass though. <laughs> Anyways. I'm gonna jump. I don't know why. It's just a mental image. I'm pretty sure jumping does not make you run any faster. But the mental image makes me think that I'm running faster. Dude, they need to come fix these roads. It's worse than Lorraine roads. Anybody that lives in Lorraine or has ever been in Ohio know that the roads, well, not now, they fix it up, but back in the day, you could fuck up your tires and the potholes and shit. It's worse than this shit that you see in the road. I mean, that's where I, that's where I live currently. Oh, yep, I seem to make my way back. Good. Lucky me. There's lights on. So these people have power. Interesting. Oh, duh, as I see a fucking thing right there the fourth degree the prospect of saloon oh that noise just for that fence they really made the noise for that how you darn Pete lovely evening isn't it most melee weapons are completely silent making them excellent stealth weapons yeah well no don't care Hold up, Rocketeers! Looking for a tour? I you didn't miss none of the jukebox because the jukebox ain't even on. I forgot I turned it off. What the I'm hell? I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Yeah, get the fuck out. The what fuck the hell you? is your problem? Who the fuck are you? What do you want? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck is Ringo? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's what hiding somewhere ever. in town. I don't like you. It served these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. No, you ain't. This is not your territory. Who said this is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Yeah, whatever, bitch. Yeah. I wanna see what happens when I say that. But um yeah. yeah, I'm done talking to you either way. I'll talk to you later, bitch. Ooh, I could just blow your brains out right here, right now. Would that have been good for you, Trudy? You must be Trudy. Hello. Hi, Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. How the fuck Glad do I you finally know me? got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Hi. Yo, what the fuck was Mr. Small Dick about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. Uh -huh. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Wow, where is he now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Mm. <laughs> you mean murder him? That's not our way. I Even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. He can bluster and just fucking bluster. Some face. of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. He should. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. You seem wise. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem it is. is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Yeah, no shit! It was a big escape not too long ago. God Some damn of them it, stuck NCR. together so they can make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. I see. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, I'm gonna talk about something else now. All right. What happens if I helped? If the you fool? were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Oh yeah. Of course, yeah. helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. I don't give a fuck about no powder gangers. Friends out there. I don't give a damn. 
So if I help Ringo, Good Springs would be more good. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. I'm just yeah, asking. You'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Yeah, fuck them powder gangers. He's a convict, just without the chains. Hmm. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. I think you should have chose this first. Plenty more like him out there. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. Huh. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Good. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. Well, no it hasn't accident. been working since. Hey, did you see where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Hmm. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. No, sound great. Why, what's wrong with Quarry Junction? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Mm. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive. Probably which is. it could be for all I know. Right, right. So, where are they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Mm. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Ooh, got me way to Vegas. So, what the fuck's up with your radio? Anyways, what do you know about Victor? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. It creeps me out. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very right, creepy. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. It's What does he do anyway? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. It's fucking creepy. How long he been here? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. I'm not sure about that. Anyways, I'm just going to talk about something else now. Fine by me. Oh, uh, so what's up with the radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything interesting going on around here? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. I heard about that. Yeah. Um, do I get much visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Good. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim. Unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Hmm. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want really, to. I might come back here later, get pissed drunk or some shit. I don't know. Fixing things, though. I might use that if I ever want to fix your radio. Maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Salesman Weekly. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with that. Scotch. Yeah, I'll come back here. No. Wait, I don't care. I'll come back for your radio. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The makes Legion sense. are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Putting their dick in it or something stupid. So tell me about this NCR peeps. You know. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Ah. I know the feeling. Well, uh, what are you talking about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. Ugh. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. All right, then. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. I believe it. I actually believe it, really. Well, um, it was good talking to you. Be careful out there. See you later, Trudy. Well, then. Ain't that some shit. Okay, so um, apparently Ringo and this Joe Cobb guy has some kind of beef. So if I help Ringo, it'll be better for my hometown. Because I actually like these people. They're all very nice people. I would hate to see some place get down with some fucked up convicts. And I'm pretty sure if I wanted to be a villain, I can get the opposite of choice. Oh, hey, Cheyenne. Where's Sunny? Sunny. Oh, God. Is she in there? I didn't see her go through. Anyways, I'm pretty sure if you were a villain, you get the opposite choice to take over Good Springs. Probably hey there. the Powder Gangers. I don't know why. 
It don't sound really fun to me. But then again, it's this is it's optimism. It could be somebody else's choice. Maybe they fucking hate Good Springs guts, or they just don't give a damn about them. I'm just saying though, especially Doc Mitchell. I mean, he was help to me. I kind of like the dude. Besides this fact, D patching up and pretty much saved my life. And then there's Victor, the metal robot I find creepy as fuck, but he also saved my life too. So there, there's that. And there's Sunny Smiles who taught me how to quote unquote shoot. So I wouldn't see a reason to kill her. She had help to me. Basically, if you've done help to me, I don't see a reason to kill you. Unless you got something I really, really, really want. But I don't even think that's the case. What is this? Isn't this my, um... No. I'm gonna keep moving. I wonder, though. I wonder if any of these houses are vacant. Whose house is this? Eh, I think there's lights. I don't think that might work out. Eh, what about this house right here? Is this house vacant? I need a place to, like, chill for a while. And probably put some of my stuff down, I mean, because I got, like, a lot of shit and stuff I want to mess with. This place seems pretty vacant. It is nighttime, either... Which means that this might be at the saloon and or sleeping bed right now. And I don't see anybody, so I guess this is my place. And they let me in it, so. Mm, I'm just going to put my clothes in her. My clothes up in her hair. Wait, didn't I been here? I can't remember. My memory is shit. I think I've used this place as a, um... Yeah. Let me check. Move. I'm just gonna put all my ammo in here for now. Much. I think I'm gonna put like a lot of that shit that I don't need. Ooh. I wouldn't let mine some steak. It's sound good kind of right now. Some of this stuff I gotta sell quickly before it rots. Wait, the thing rots in this game? I don't know. I gotta check and see if things rot. And we got the Xander root. What am I gonna do with the extra Xander root? I don't even know what I need it for. Yeah, I've been here. I've done this before. Duh. No wonder the house looks vacant because we've been over this. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put the gun in here. Cause I remember a teddy bear and a BB gun being on the table. Yep, and I, I'm the one that put the. Now that I remember, I'm the one that put the recharger rifle there. Yep, my memory is horrible, but I remember. Anywho. I'm just gonna put this on the um table here. I love this. I just love how I just did that. Most games don't let you do that, and that's pretty cool. I like that. Hey, I wonder if that TV works. Watch some cartoons and some shit. This is wait. I don't want to wait. Oh well. No, I want to sleep. There we go. In about five hours. There we go. The sun is shining. Oh, oh shit. Look at my nappy ass bedhead. Wonder what's for breakfast in this motherfucker. <laughs> I gotta put shit in there for before eating it. No, I'll keep the bobby pins and the bottle caps. I'm gonna put the steak in there, whatever this shit is. Put that in there. I could probably fry me some of that shit later if I wanted to. Put the water in there. That's medicine. I put the medicine in there too. The sand to root. I keep that refrigerator. I think that's it. Alright, um. What's in the stove? Nothing. I don't know why the fuck I opened it. I should put something on this table. No, I got the urge to do it. I got nothing to put on it. Maybe I can put bobby pins on there. There. Yep, put a box of bobby pins just randomly there. Just because I want to put something on the table. I don't like it just looks empty enough to put some shit there. Alright, let's get dressed. Get our day started. Yeah, brother armor and pre-war hat. No, keep the hat in there. I'm not wearing that shit right now. I kind of like the way my hair looks. Grab all that shit. Let's see, 9mm rounds I need. That I need. Anti-venoms. Buff. Buff out uh, some scrap electronics. Wait. Okay. I think I should 
get in here and grab my varmint rifle. No, I'm not using a recharger. I'm not really a fan of energy weapons. I'm not sure if I said that much. Oh, I kind of need that. And grab the gun. Grab my pistol. But first, let me just put on my clothes. My lucky leather armor. My lucky leather armor. Alright. Gonna grab that and let's go. Wait, we marked. I thought I marked this place already. Did I mark this place? I don't remember. I don't know, but let me hot keep my shit first. Put that there. I like putting my charge rifle on the left. Save it. Mm, you know what? I'm starting to think that, you know. I'm gonna be a lazy ass and just go back to bed. Yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Fuck this shit. Got decided to be lazy. Just sleep in more. Go ahead, take this off. Go ahead and um, put all that shit back. Let me look at your pistol, put it back on the table, put the varmint rifle where it belongs, and um, and put my ammo back in my drawer. I feel like, I really, I don't know why, I just feel like I'm going to be lazy. Plus, I think I'm going to stop here for now. Bottle caps, put that in there too. I'm going to go ahead and go back to bed and sleep till 12 or some shit, just because I'm lazy like that. Look at me. Go to bed. Anyway, so um this has been this episode. When I come back I'm gonna see what's up with the um Ringo guy. And I'll see you guys.